Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, this is 1977's A Woman's Torment. 1977's A Woman's Torment, directed by the infamous, awesome Roberta Finley. There's a pseudonym, though, in the uh, opening credits in place of her real name there. And this is the back... And you can see some bloody shots and some sexy shots, which reflects the movie very, very well. This is put out by Vinegar Syndrome on Blu-ray and DVD with a reversible cover. Beautiful, beautiful print. An extremely unknown film. And a film that's never been on Blu-ray before, uh, let alone scanned in 2K from the 35mm negative. This is a woman's torment right here folks the tagline on the front of the blu-ray says the deranged descent of a woman unchained look at the uh, the imagery here this is a woman's torment from 1977 directed by Roberta Finley this is the kind of um, the regular x-rated hardcore version of this film but there's also on here a softer uh, R-rated uh, version on the disc as well, which is supposedly a little bit longer. But we're going to be looking at the regular version when you push play on the Blu-ray, the X-rated version of this film. This is a, another perfect example of what an adult film can be. And the melding of horror, true, psychotic, oppressive, dark horror in the world of X-rated cinema and how those two can meet and what a film like this can be and what film can be and what X-rated cinema can be. Shattering stereotypes and bringing you into um, an alternate reality of cinema itself. A Woman's Torment is psychosis, psychological Horror, oppression, darkness, violence, and sexuality. And sexuality being part and core of the storyline of horror as well. And the complexities of relationships. All in this film right here. 1977's A Woman's Torment. Let's get into this film, folks, by Roberta Finley. Um, I've looked at other films of by her on this YouTube page, so check them out, like Lurkers. Definitely check them out. I have some notes written here, so if you see my eyes divert, you'll know what I'm doing. We have orchestrated classical music as really the core score music in this film. Very, very interestingly elegant and foreboding at the same time and um, emotional and intense but classical music there's an interesting quote in this film where a wife says to her husband after sex that she's not too happy with that she felt was somewhat selfish um, that he was kind of he was masturbating inside of her without actually touching her. Okay, I thought that was very interesting. Um, we have elements of looking at the camera. We have scenes where people are definitely, where, where, where a character is looking at the camera, but not in a way that it was a mistake, but looking through you as the viewer almost, and kind of showing intensity of horror, the same way the dinner table sequence of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, you had characters looking, the eyeballs in the screen at you. We have real relational issues in this film. The complexity and the hardships of reality relationships. In particular, marital relationships. We have some disco music in here in a party scene. We have amazing dialogue in this film. I mean, seriously... Um, really, just as complex as the relationships are, the dialogue is all part of the complexity of 
and and the and and the difficulty of having a relationship with somebody, the difficulty of a marital relationship. Um, this but this was an interesting quote in the film as well. It says an affair, like a marital affair, an affair is not like a marriage. It ends. We have work with lights and shadows in this film. We go to a beach and a beach house, but we're also in a kind of an upstairs looking mysterious room of lights and shadows. This beach house, a vacant beach house with no food in the cupboards and no one around except for an old kind of crazy woman. The soundscapes in this film were horrific, terrifying, creepy, reminded me a bit of Let's Scare Jessica to Death uh, that I looked at also on this YouTube page. Whispers, scary sounds, voices. We also have the elements of hallucinations, close-ups on eyes and faces in a disturbing manner. We have a quote here. It's a little weird, but it's cozy. End quote. The sound is atmosphere in this film. Those soundscapes, those horrific, creepy soundscapes are the atmosphere of this film. It's intense. It's scary. And it's definitely um, unnerving off-kilter and weird, which leads to the terror. Sexually speaking, we have a very deep kind of uh, fingering scene. Um, almost the whole hand, almost. But, it, you know, it's kind of almost near the butthole, but it's in the vagina predominantly. And it's a, it, it, it's a disturbing scene, but it's also uh, hot in the way that it's done in, 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 the, in, the, in the wildness of it. Um, a lot of the sex, though, in this film deals with um, couples and the intricacies of marital relationships and affairs as well. Um, that's most of the, of the sex scenes in this film. And what's interesting is the dialogue while they're having sex and the, um, the implications of the way the sex is being done and uh, what that means for their relationships and um, the talking before the sex and even during the sex is very vulnerable. It's revealing. It's intimate, but it also reflects a lack of intimacy at times if that's what's happening in that particular relationship. Um, we have uh, POV type shots in this film. Uh, we have a rape scene in this movie. We have what I like to call an X-rated murder in the film. That's all I'm going to say. An X-rated murder. We have a disturbing naked body sex death in this film. A rainy beach. Disturbing editing. Because in the editing, from scene to scene will be contrasts will be contradictions and paradoxes in tone which will be biting and sucker punching to the viewer. We have a piano sing-along in the film which is cut to horrific imagery and things. We have a wild shower masturbation sequence um, that is also cut with horror. It's disturbing and sexy all at the same time. We have very, very close zooming in shots of the female genitalia uh, gynecologically in this film, which reminded me a lot of um, another Vinegar Syndrome title called Oriental Babysitter. Um, X-rated films are all different in the way that they shoot things, but it was only with the female genitalia um, with really the lead character in particular with the lead woman the woman in torment which was interesting not really with all the rest of the women just her very interesting we have a quote here a woman alone is like a foot without a shoe 
we have this windy beach night. Just imagine this vacant beach house in a windy beach night and horror and sex. Murder. Hysterical laughter. We have reflections within a bathtub blowjob sequence, which reminded me of uh, some Jess Franco films, in, in particular his film Voodoo Passion, uh, the bathtub that has kind of uh, uh, walls of mirrors surrounding it. And we have some, some, we do have some reflections, some mirror shots in this film. Um, maniacal, crazy, bizarre running on the beach as if possessed, glistening ocean water, 70s country rock, almost like sounding like a bit like it's in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So a little bit of that, we have a, a sailboat or speedboat. Um, a person having sex with the beach. Excuse me, sexuality, violence, psychosis. What are the links between them? What are the links between sexuality and violence and psychosis and past wounds and scars? That's what this movie really looks at. What are the connections between anxiety and possibly panic disorder and sex? Does sex relieve panic? Does sex relieve anxiety? I think of Lars von Trier's Antichrist. Here's another quote. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? The other person says, it's going to be worse. You asked me, remember? End quote. Reminds me of when people think they're going to change somebody before, uh, you know, when they get married. Well, after, you know, after, they get, after we get married, they'll change. No, after you get married, the things you don't like will just become permanent. That quote really reflects the complexity in relationships in this film. We have um, oral scenes on women. Um, this wild freeze frame, quick back to back photographic murder shots, horror edit, bloody gore. Sex as therapy. Electrocution. And Possibly another Franco uh, connection in my mind with the graveyard of the ocean. And to this woman, the water, the sand, and the beach has connections to her. She's very complex. Her acting is awesome. She's normal, and she's not normal. It makes her very complex. She's mute, and yet she speaks. Um, she's re repelled by sex, and yet she is connected by sex. This is 1977's complex relational A Woman's Torment. You can be horny and horrified all at the same time. Thank you so much, and have a good night.